I came up with the idea for this painting after remembering that a nearby university uses animals for experiments. It's a horrible thought knowing that relatively close by such cruelty is being undertaken. Usually, with animal abuse that's done legally, it's quite removed from where the public go about their lives. However, it unfortunately seems that a lot of universities around the world still use animal testing. Not to mention pharmaceutical companies as well. I think the whole problem of animal testing has been a lot more on my mind in recent years because of the virus and the vaccine that is needed to be made to try and reduce its harm. Obviously, such a vaccine is necessary, but the fact that all vaccines are still tested on animals is very disappointing. For our own health and others, we're put in a position where we're forced to indirectly support cruel practices. You would think that after all the progress that has been made in creating medicines and vaccines, Companies would also have been able to find a better way of testing and creating these products that don't involve exploiting animals. But anyway, this problem is why I wanted to create this painting and remind people of these hidden beings trapped inside cages, often never to see the light of day. I wanted to remind people that these animals feel and suffer just as we do, and no matter how seemingly different they are to us, we should respect them and endeavour not to cause them needless pain. With this painting, you can hopefully see the face of a lab worker reflected in the rat's eyes, and the rat's fear is they anticipate what's about to happen. The splodges surrounding the rat's face represent their blurry mind from the things that have been done to them. And within these shapes are some of the things the rat has seen, the many levels of cages of fellow rats, the gloved hands and needles. However, I later realised that green wasn't the right colour for these shapes. I'd originally thought green would help represent the sickness of animal testing, but once it had been done, I realised it wouldn't really allow the things within the shapes to stand out enough. So I changed it to red which I think helps create a sense of alarm and can represent the blood of all those who've been killed because of animal testing. I think changing the colour to red also helps connect the whole painting together better, as the rat has red in the colour of their ears, eyes and nose. Anyway, thank you for watching the process behind this painting. Even though it's quite a horrible scene, I think it's important we don't forget about or try and ignore the suffering these animals endure, because remembering them can help us come up with ways we can further limit our contribution towards their exploitation, and further encourage us to make a new world and way of life that is far less cruel.